Yo, homie. Hey, touch it. Okay. So, I got Jose Johnson thinking he's going to beat me up because he's got 100 MMA fights like a crazy man. He's going to go for Jeremy Horn's record. Okay, one thing I can do is posture to bang him out. I'm going to go five punch combination. I that click on my southpaw. Jab, cross, long hook, long hook, boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay? Because he's got a cover. So we go one, two, jab, cross. Now whip it. Fedor, the Negro of Touch, beat up everyone on the ground. Whip it. Whip it good. Boom, boom. So even if he did a good cover, I'm going to rock. Give, give me a deep cover this way over here. Boom! I'm going to rock him. And that opens up this dropping body weight shot to his uh, stomach or sore plexus. Boom. Usually that opens up the legs. I'm going to hook in here, and I'm going to jump here. Okay? I'm going to try to go here with first. And now I'm bringing this in. Now I'm going to cradle put my hands together. So, I play down, I got my three breaths, I go to work. Jab, cross, long hook, look at all my weight. Long hook, bang! Usually they'll open, okay? I'm gonna come over hook on the right, on his left leg. I'm gonna come here, and I'm gonna jump through the guard if it opens. First, we'll go here and go shoulder in. Then I'm gonna weave over to over hook. Cradle. I'm grabbing like this. I'm gonna put this same wrist bone we just heel hooked with on his artery. So we're here, I pull into him, come over the top, cover the head. Here. Now watch what I do, I drop my weight. I cook him. I cook him. I cook him. I pass. I sprawl. I drop my body weight on his head. It's a slow choke, 7 to 11 seconds. It's not a quick 4 second choke. I call it the side gravity choke that made it up, side gravity choke. I told you guys go off on, off on, off on on your chokes. If you get a mistake, squeeze and let him up. And every time you let him up, you don't realize he was just about to tap. No, just constant pressure. We're going here, and mechanically, I got this. Finally, take my time, pass the guard if I can, and I drop him like this with my body And even if not, it passes his guard. So, boom, 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 posture. Bang, 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 boom. Opening, overhook, here or fist. Jump through, cover that neck with a uh, collar tie. Drive in the head. Drive, drive, drive over. Hands together, cradle. This sucks as a position. I'm gonna pull that wrist into his artery. I'm gonna drop my body weight. Cook him, cook him, cook him. Cast, drop. And usually he'll tap if he didn't tap. Let go, reconnect. And they always tap as long as I didn't let up on the pressure after I pass my hand. A lot of people you'll tap with the cradle in. After eight, nine seconds, if he's really tough, he hasn't tapped, I kept the pressure, I kept that artery cooked, even if this one's open, this one's cooked, chopped off like a knife into that artery. Dropping weight on the head, and I can then pass the hand and sprawl my body weight down. Yep. Well, let's go this way. Okay. So, posture up. One, wow. two, three, four. Bang! Hopefully that gets him on cross angle. In reality, probably. So I got a little bit of space here. Boom. I'm going to try to get that knee through slice pass. I'm going to go here. This already sucks for him because I know how to do this. Control, control, control. Go over to the top. I lost a little bit, but I'm still working. Let's see right there. Boom, we got a hand. I'm gonna sprawl and sprawl and cook that artery. Let's see if I can get him. Nope. Uh, I almost.
almost had it, but not quite. So I got, he had a little space in the beginning. But do you see I just fall out of the Cobra neck crank then? And then pass his guard. So grappling always goes again. Now nothing's 100%. But I didn't let off uh, A and jump to C. I cooked A. I knew he was on the verge of tapping, but not quite there. And then I went to B without letting up the pressure, okay? So you defended, awesome. But I kept the pressure, I didn't let up. So this was a, actually a good learning moment. Hopefully you guys, it's pressure, and more pressure, and more pressure, and you break the net. Yeah, I mean, you're in a crate, once I got the cradle, it's just a second position. And guys, the MMA fighters, especially turtle, where I guess the fence, they're trying not to keep me in the head, they're doing this stupid game, they're going down with one knee, the third head and the knee go together, it should be cradle. Near side cradle, far side cradle, roll over, screw side cradle. Anytime the knee and the head come together, whether it's jiu-jitsu or wrestling, you should cradle him. Make his life miserable. Okay, here it's not gonna happen. But here it should happen. You force it and you get your grip together. Does that make sense? Does everyone know what a cradle is? Controlling him, and my man, ground and pound, boom, boom, boom. I go for my posture. He's been holding my head pretty good. He's a strong guy. And I roll good elbowing, and I bump that out. See, that's very good. Tony pay attention. Hit the room. I hit that elbow. He's got that strong collar to it. I'm gonna posture and bounce out. Do my wing chun on the ground. And now my posture. One, two, three, four. Bang! Hopefully you don't cross. He did it, but hopefully I give him pressure. He does. I go here. I jump through. That time I covered his head, or he could be here. I go in. I go in. I drive in. I can drive my head in. I can drive my head in. I roll. I cover the top. And I'm trying to task to get my gear, my uh, cradle. And I move, I work this to the artery, and I drop, scroll, one, so anytime. Okay, so the first time I didn't get him, so it was a little deep. That time, I shortened up on the choke. Because I didn't have it quite right the first time. That time, I shortened up to get more of this on his artery. And that only, that only was like three seconds, two seconds. But remember, this is an 11 second choke sometimes. Okay? Let me show them one more person. Who wants in here? Aaron, come here. You guys are looking at this and it's like, <laughs> you just gotta think like a wrestler, guys. Make his MMA fight, you gotta make his life miserable. Bang, posture, one, two, wrap around, look how strong this is. Bang, bang, bang. Push. Overhook, come in here, drive it, drive it, make it break the over. Drive, 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 boom, over. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna pass because that's where I felt better. If he didn't tap here after eight, nine seconds, then I can let go because he's gonna kick his leg out. I get it back together, I keep it, even if I beat it, I either have that or back to what we did earlier. See the connections now. Pressure, pressure, pressure. A to B to C. But only go to B if you already cooked the guy with A. And it's actually not working. But don't just go right away. I'm in severe position. I'm riding him with weight. Then flow if I got it. Capiche? One, two, three, bro. 